guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for Ultimate Comics X Men issue 21, and this is part of the Reservation X, which is a new story arc just for X Men and not for, you know, United We Stand thing that we had with um, all the Ultimate Universe. So, um, before I talk about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update that I have three comic reviews that I usually do on Comic Uno that I did on Dark Avenger Inc. this week, which was um, Action Comics issue 16. Smallville Season 11, Issue 9, and um, Fantastic Four, Issue 3. So if you want to check out those reviews, just go in the description below, and there'll be a link for Dark Avenger Inc., so you can go check out those reviews. But let's talk about Ultimate Comics X-Men, Issue 21. Um, let's talk about the cover first. I uh, really like this cover. It explains exactly what's going on. There are people who try to hurt the X-Men for some reason. Um, exactly why, we'll talk about when we talk about the story, but great art, um... I don't, know, I don't really like how Kitty looks, but everything else is pretty good. Um, I love how Iron Man looks, love his suit and everything. So, good cover, but let's see if I like the story. Um, with this issue, it's a very political issue, and I'll talk more about that after. But we have Kitty, who's been the the public figure for the mutants uh, for, uh, since... Um, you know, the United We Stand and the whole X-Men war thing in this Ultimate Universe. So, um, they make a seed and they're like, we don't want money for it. We're going to give it to you because we want to show that we're good people and we can give presents. So, um, that's what she does. She gives a seed and, um, the seed could be grown any anywhere. So this could, you know, defeat hunger and, you know, everyone's going to be happy. So, uh, some people, of course, it's, it's like just regular, like, CNN in real life. It's just like, is this a test? Oh, we could take every theory and say they're doing wrong. No, but they're, they're doing it right. You know this. It's like, no, they're doing this for a reason. You know, it's regular CNN. It's just a topic and everyone has their opinions about it. And that's what we get to see with this issue. Um, in Vin's point of view, it's exactly like CNN, and that's why I loved about this, is it's very, it's a very political type of thing, but, um, interesting. It's not boring government stuff. I think it's a very interesting political, um, view, you know, and I was really interested in that. So we get to see how does the world react to this seed. Some people like it, some people don't. And, um, now... They have to try to plan, alright, so this is our first step. You know, Iron Man, uh, Jimmy, and Kitty, they're like, this is our first step, so what do we do next? And um, that's something they have to plan. It's like, we want people like mutants. So this is, again, the first step of what we do. Now we have to plan other things. But Iron Man's like, you know, people are going to try to attack you. So do you want defense? And Kitty's, the one thing Kitty wants is peace. She had to deal with that war. She, she did a lot with that war. She fought a lot in that war. She started the fight. Um, so now she just wants peace. She wants everyone to like the mutants. So uh, that's a big problem um, that the other mutants don't like, especially that other, whatever her name is, hot something, toothpick, whatever her name is, um, whatever, the blue hair girl. Um, she's one of the troublemakers. And, you know, of course, with every situation, um, is going to be a troublemaker and someone that disagrees. She's like the Cyclops of the group. <laughs> um, I really want to know her name. It's like, I want to say it's like Toothpick or something, but it really isn't. Or Matchbox, maybe? Yeah, something like that. So, um, she's against it. Like, you know how Kitty is like the head of all this? It makes that Kitty did all this, but it's all the mutants. Why is she not mentioning us? So she, again, just trying to pick a fight. Uh, with this, this girl's trying to pick a fight. And other mutants, they disagree. You know, everyone in this issue is all about it. This person disagrees, this person agrees. But the most important thing to happen is that for some reason, America is attacking, I guess, because they don't like the situation with the seeds. And um, Kitty's like, oh, well, I don't want to fight them. But, you know, Jimmy and Iron Man are like, well, this thing is going to happen like this. So you have to make a decision. Um, you, you don't want to be the bad guys, but, you know, people are going to attack you. So, again, make a decision. So it really doesn't end in a cliffhanger. It kind of ends in, like, a middle type of thing. Does Iron Man talk and saying, oh, th these things happen um, type of thing. Um, I gotta say, I really, I really like this issue. I don't think it's anything special, but with this whole entire, um, reservation and this whole entire story arc, I think it's just growing. And with this, I think with this series, it's just a growing big plot. You know, it's not like little story arcs, subplots. It's, it's a big plot and it just keeps continuing. Um, it's interesting. And I, I, one thing I really enjoyed, like I was saying, was like the political view of it. And, um, it was a very political issue. It's like Kitty tries to be the figurehead saying, hey, you know, we're, we're mutants, but we're not bad. So she's trying to say, all right, we're not bad people. So, um, I'm interested to see, will Kitty, you know, 
succeed at this. Um, and I think that's going to be an interesting part with, I really hope this whole entire um, story really goes to, alright, people accept mutants now. Because in the regular universe, alright, people don't accept mutants. But I really want to see in the Ultimate Universe, most people accept mutants and mutants be able to live in America and the real world. And I think that would be the difference with the Ultimate Universe and the regular universe. And something I like about the Ultimate Universe is that there are differences and you can make extreme differences and it wouldn't matter because it's a different universe. It doesn't affect the regular universe, but it brings an interesting story in an in, uh, alternate universe, you know? So, I'm very excited to see where the story goes. I'm sure issues to come, the story is just going to develop, and that's why I don't give a, a humongous, um, large grade with this series because every issue is just one more step closer to telling more story. You know, it's something amazing, but with every issue, it's just progresses and that's what I like about this series. It's not the best series out there but it, it's continuing a really interesting story and I'm a big Kitty Pryde fan so um, I, it's kind of cool to see her ahead of the X-Men pretty much. So and also we actually get to see the Ultimate X team which we didn't know they were kind of around. A lot of people don't know she's there around and I, I haven't seen them in a while so and I actually like the Ultimate X series so um, with Liz, you know, with Liz and um, Derek and uh, Karen Grant, which is actually Jean Grey, so they're in this, and it's like, oh, what are we going to think about Kitty? Well, they show themselves to Kitty, saying, oh, well, we do exist. And, of course, Kitty knows Jean, so that, that could play an interesting part also. So, uh, this issue was interesting. Again, um, brings some interesting story and um, plot to the main plot. So, I'm going to give it four stars, and I'll probably, I, I feel like I give the series all the time four stars, because it's always solid, nothing extremely great. But again, just progresses this big story. So, um, four stars, interesting story. And again, the, the whole political thing was very interesting and I really liked it. So, um, pick, the, pick up this issue. If you've been reading it, um, this is a series pick up, uh, maybe a trade if you haven't been reading it. Uh, I don't recommend just jumping into it now. You'll be like... What? Because it's, um, again, it's in the middle of this big story. So, um, I recommend picking this series in trade if you're not picking up the series right now. But, um, it's a good story, uh, good series. I feel like it's under the radar because a lot of people talk about the Ultimate Comics universe anymore. I remember last year when Miles, or maybe like two years ago, I think it was about me, a little bit over a year now, that when Miles came, you know, Ultimate Universe was so big and it's like, oh, you know, we have our Ultimate Universe, it's the biggest thing ever. And now people kind of ignore it and I wish more people did read the Ultimate Universe, because I think it has interesting books. I, I wish people didn't look over it so much. But, um, this Comic Uno, I give this four stars, and I say pick it up. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and Rant situations. Bye, guys.